Good evening. It is currently 8.46. You guys see the screensaver? BMW i8, my dream car. I'm gonna get it one of these days. Rob, what's your dream car? I don't think I have a dream car. I've always wanted a VW bus, like those big uh, older ones. Like a Scooby-Doo one? Yeah. I guess I'm not into cars like that. I don't know. I'm hungry though. I haven't eaten nothing. We're running out of food, guys. <laughs> see, this is what you eat to be a YouTuber. This bread. What's up with this? It's good stuff. We have Tums. Rob's been eating about five of these a day. Yeah, so actually three now because we're kind of running low on stuff. So I do three Tums a day and then I do one scoop of jelly. Disclaimer, I think having too many Tums can like actually really mess you up like bad. Yeah, don't actually do that. We were just uh, joking. Do the Logan Paul, smash it. <laughs> yeah. We should, because we need stuff for the vlog, right? Yeah. Let's break one thing. Okay. Let's break this place. Let's do it. Why not? You gotta clean it up. No. We're crazy vloggers. Logan Paul? More like us. Do we have a broom? We don't even have a broom. <laughs> we have a Swifter. I don't anticipate it shattering into too many pieces. So what if it shatters, one of the pieces, like we can't go to the hospital. And we do need these plates. Yeah, we'll just save them. All right, guys, so we ordered dinner, finally. This is from, not sponsored, but it's called Dave's Hot Chicken. I think it's only a California thing. Yeah, it is. First, we're washing our hands. Got some boats for a Noah boat. I got two things of soap. Do you guys prefer foam soap or the liquid soap? Towel, wipe it off. Clean, clean, clean. All right, guys, here's a little hand washing tutorial for all of you who need to know. So you get your hand and you either push it up or you can either turn it this way, that way, push it down. Depends on what your, you know, manufacturer and all this stuff put on. I like to, you know, wet the hands a little bit and then if you have a selection good if you don't hey use whatever you have so i would just say one nice pump lather it in there see it's kind of fun you know because you got to wash your hands for a minute in between and the nails your arms and the nails you lift this back up and you let all the filth just wash away clean all right y'all one and a half squirts boom you got a little booger action there rob can you come get this booger out of my nose no. I do a little bit of water, a little warm water, whatever. No, not too much, because you don't want to wipe the soap off immediately. And I go over, I go 45 seconds. I gotta get more tats, man. I'm gonna get both arms. Safeties first. Bro, you know what I had to really get over was biting my fingernails. Oh, you do that? That's something I do religiously, and the fact that I couldn't do it anymore. So what do you do with the nail after you bite it off? You spit it? You spit it, or you can chew it, if you want. Oh, and by chew it, you then swallow it? Yeah, it's not that bad. Whoa, what the heck are you talking about? I need to fill this joint up. Have you guys ever seen a filtered water dispenser inside of your fridge? I don't think so. Just like that, some nice filtered water. So a few times ago, they didn't have any honey packets in here and you put honey on the chicken and I was like, what? Like at first I was skeptical and then you try it and then it's life changing. Bro, the honey goes crazy and one time we ordered it and I, there was no honey. We Ubered a whole nother, a whole nother meal just to get the honey. Cause I, I was fine with the honey, but. It is better with the honey. Uh, agreed. Hot. Dave's hot chicken. Oh, that smells so good. Mm -hmm. Especially for somebody that has an eight all day. Adulting, I've learned, is just a bunch of people pretending they know what to do. Nobody ever really knows what to do. I have a question, though. We're saying stay inside. Nah, nah, nah. Are we enabling people to go drive around, touch this, touch that? and come deliver our food? Or are we helping the people that are need money and you know paying for them to come deliver? Great question. How do you do a mukbang? Cause you have to eat. On a mukbang, do they people enjoy watching people eat? Is that what a mukbang is? I think people just enjoy watching other people eat maybe. That has to be it. Or they want to eat their food with the person. Oh yeah. So oh, they get their food and they watch a mukbang and they just hear them talk and then they can eat with them. Comment awesome. down below if you're a slow eater or a fast eater. I'm a fast eater. You'll see shortly. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. You gotta savor every bite. Mm -hmm. Much, much. Mm -hmm. We want everyone to stay home as much as possible. We know certain people's jobs require them to be at. But by ordering Uber Eats, are you enabling people and contributing to the unhealthy concept of people going out? Yeah, that's the question. I say no. I say no, it is not bad that we're doing the Uber Eats as I eat this delicious chicken. Because everything is like pickup. Like if it's at a McDonald's, it's everything through the drive through Everyone is aware of what's going on. So even the people that are doing the delivery, I don't think they're uh, touching stuff. Uh, I think they're taking full precautionary action while they're doing their job. Or that's what we would expect from them. I think if they do it properly and to the best of their ability, I'm talking about the workers, the drivers, they won't really be coming into too much contact with infected people or whatever. As you guys know or don't know, we read all the comments 
on the vlog channel and Rob showed me a comment, which was, it, they were saying something like, it's easy for you guys to say because you gotta just do your work by doing the videos, but some people have to make money. or something along those lines. And we just wanna address that really quick. Number one, I think it's easy to get triggered in YouTube comments. Like people are looking for bad things to say. Mm -hmm. Like what about the fact that we're over here trying our best job to put out content for people and maybe give entertainment to others. And what we said wasn't false or wasn't bad at all because, okay, yeah, you can keep cutting hair, but at what cost? Somebody's life or something? Like, no, dude, don't go out and do stuff like that. If you're doing a job that's requiring you to be in close proximity with some, to someone, no masks involved, whatever, you're putting yourself at risk. I'm saying, when possible, try not to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, it's easy for you to say because you're a YouTuber and you can just make money on one. I'm not, first, I'm talking about me. Yeah. <laughs> this is not about my life or my situation. I'm saying other people, someone else's situation should be careful. And again, at what cost are they doing it? And hey, if you can and you have to feed, pay the bills and you can't eat, whatever, then you, you know, that's up to you to make your decision to do what you gotta do. We were just putting our two cents on the top. Yeah. We just God forbid we have an opinion on anything. Yeah, that's just our opinion. Oh, okay. Sorry. We're in a little bit of a food coma. What? Here's a question. Here's a real question for you. Is saying female derogatory? No. I was talking to a girl and I was like, uh, females, blah, blah. She said, whoa. I was like, huh? Female's a derogatory term. Why? Wait, what? Because apparently, from what I was told. Like, what? what is she? Oh, she's a female. A what? <laughs> and I was like, ain't that what you are? <laughs> I don't know. Personally, and I'm not a woman or a female. I wouldn't so get mad if somebody called me a male. Males are always like this. You never hear that. But you hear female. But I never thought it was derogatory. I would never say it in a derogatory way. Hey, quick question for you. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the word female? Like neutral? What do you mean? A girl, I was talking to this girl and I called, I said something, yeah, yeah, females. And she got offended. <laughs> So that's crazy, right? Yeah, a little bit. So she didn't think it was bad. Let me see if I can call this girl that. That was coming from a female. And so we got the female perspective. Oh, I just said it again. Female perspective. Hey, got a, got a question for you. We're doing the debate of female, the term. Uh -huh. What is wrong with saying female? No, it's just the way that guys, like there's nothing wrong with saying it. It's just the fact that when you're trying to describe a woman in a negative light, that's the word that you use. So it's like developed this negative connotation where like you're speaking poorly about a woman. So you like refer to her as a female. So what would you like to happen in future? You have a problem with something, but what is the solution? What is the best alternative? I mean, yeah, not to be like fucking degrading. Women suck. Females suck. Ain't it the, like, you'd be saying the same insult. Boy, it is one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I think the problem would be the word that's attached to it, not the actual word. I honestly think that like, it's just the way that it's used in society. I want to get the other side because if the, if it is a problem- I'll stop saying it. I'll stop saying it. Let's get that clear first. Yeah. And us as ladies, men, we are extremely catering to the opposite gender. Y'all prefer natural, prefer natural woman. Okay, well the grammar's <laughs> effed up anyway. Y'all prefer natural women or females with wigs, weaves, and lashes? So did a man type that? You wouldn't know, right? If it said, if it said, y'all prefer natural women or girls with wigs, weaves, and lashes, I still, I feel like it still means the same thing. When I look at that, I don't see derogatory. I think it's like a subconscious <clears throat> thing. Like it's not even, like they said that thinking, oh, let me say something that's super derogatory and degrading and everything. I think it's just, it's like this weird like association that guys do. Like it's just used in a disrespectful way usually is what I've seen. Can you say least. female in a respectful way? I have so much respect for females. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's fine. Think or no, we need to know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even matter if they say female if they're attaching right. a bad word after it. Mm -hmm. So wouldn't that completely discredit the whole concept of- I'm just saying- Don't say- make a video trying to argue this point, you're gonna have some problems. That's why we called a female. <laughs> uh, that's, that's what we called a girl. <laughs> I'm so wow. sorry. But if you make a video trying to like discredit it or whatever, like discredit the argument, it's not a good look. I we're not discrediting it, oh, we're yeah. trying to understand it. Yeah, because you have to look at a debate, you know, there's two sides to it. Mm -hmm. And you wanna look at, okay, uh -huh. the validity of the one and the thing mm -hmm. and the, what do they argue? So my concept here was, okay, it's not good to say female and then you follow it up with something like, derogatory because mm -hmm. that's it's normally you normally hear the word female when someone's saying something derogatory towards women yeah, right. yeah i think when it is used majority like, it is in a negative way yeah you never hear yeah. i love females you never hear that i love women right. like, 
I love women. Oh, she's such a nice female. Right, like yeah, it's just she, unnatural to say. Like, she's such a nice, she's girl. A nice girl. She's such a nice woman. Like she's a nice lady. She's a nice lady. Yeah. Interesting. All right, we'll talk. Bye. I'll talk later. Bye. bye. <laughs> Females. <laughs> 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 I'm, it was a joke. That was a joke. But I think that I came to a good consensus there. Whenever the word female comes out of your mouth, think about how you structure that sentence. Was I being derogatory? But if it wasn't, then you're good. Let's see it, round two. I don't even think they made it clear whether my feet have to be touched, like my heels have to be touching it. My heels have to touch, but yeah. I we need like a stool or something because I legit cannot grip around here. I will fall. Right now, I will fall. Pick it up. <laughs> oh! Yeah, I can't do it. This is a stupid challenge. It puts your body in this weird state where it's like, yeah, it's easy. Just stand up, but you can't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you're a girl and you're watching this, put it on your story and tag us so we can do uh -huh. it. I need to see some ladies up against the wall like this doing it. <laughs> you're right. We need a girl. Pull up challenge right now. I'm tired. Brian's just mad because he wants to get the redemption. I'm tired right now too. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. How many do you want? I'll just I'll just do a couple more than what you do right now. Okay. I'm sore. I worked out late earlier today. Me too. Okay. Cool. Oh, I'm tired. Okay. How much was that? Five. I can't do any more. I'm in pain. That was bad. That was a bad outing for me. I don't know why I did this challenge. I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, because you're going to embarrass yourself like that. Five, light or... Oh, I'm so sore. Whatever. <laughs> Let me know when you really want to challenge me. Today. That's what they all say. I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath. Who said that? Not me. <laughs>